Guess no, maybe? They're refreshing. Yeah, it's back up? Cool. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. That was the most amazing save you guys. I can't believe we thought of that. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> the whole thing. Amazing! Wow. So much Shallow's dead. But you are you are looking in that room, right? I am yes. cheating in, sword drawn, shield up. Alright. In this room, you see the thong. Um, Did you say thong? The following. Oh, the following. Are you watching season one or season two? Like, this, this room is in, in here has rows of bookshelves with books. Yeah. Um, you'll have to see what they actually say in them when you get close. Look, books. But what really draws the attention in the room really? is the figure that you see at the far end of the hall. It is what looks like a large metallic statue. It is made of silvery metal, thin and tall. Does it, it look like the library? Motionless. Sorry? Does it look like the library we met last time? It looks very much like that librarian, but that creature, which you may remember, uh, was uh, yeah, the, the librarian, uh, the mechanical creature, was run down, rusty, and with one arm broken off. Here, this one looks new and shiny. Lassen runs right up to it. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> so Lassen runs up to it. Just a cheerful way. Okay. I will shoot my sword to a man so as not to provoke it. All right. Greetings, librarian. Um, and, uh, so it doesn't, it, as you speak to it, it goes, shh. <gasps> oh, my name's Harry. I'm looking for a book about death. A book? Yes. You're looking for a book? I am. Oh, lovely. Well, it's been so long since someone's business. asked me for a book. Um, uh, here, let me help you. Now, you may remember that when you encountered this creature the last time, it was kind of, yep. tin man. This time, it's just like, smooth, you know, no problem at all. Um, and we can say, now, what book do you want? Perhaps I can get you the newest translation. We have every conceivable edition. Something it is in multiple different places, and of course we have all library quality hardcovers. <laughs> do you have anything pertaining to the trial of the dead? And he says, oh, oh, the, the trial of the dead. And he thinks about it, he says, well, um, let me see. And he begins to run over and kind of, you know, pull down books from the shelf, open them up, look, sort of look at them again, put them back. He says, no, mm. He's like, I know of the trial of the dead, of course, but um, I don't know a whole deal about it. I do know that something up there, and he points to the north, uh, not up to the ceiling, but like points up, like pat in the wall, like past the wall, he says, um, that creature, which is known only as the Guardian. Um, the Guardian uh, has very strange feelings about trials. I've tried to speak to him, but he doesn't care at all about books. Who does that? I mean, really, who doesn't care about books? I can't believe it. He sort of looks at you and he says, yes, I too was moved to wonder. And he like imitates your action, not getting at all what it is you're talking about. Oh, no, this is me signaling you out of character, so. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, out of character, I'm curious, has the library seen the books that I've stabbed yet? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> do you want to, do you want nope. to show? Yeah. <laughs> right. So he says, um, I, I cannot help you much with the trials. I, I am so sorry. I, I, Arbonite, am very, very sorry. And you remember that Arbonite was the name of the librarian. Um, and he makes, he seems almost like if he could weep, his strange metallic face is kind of a, I must be a failure. I knew there was something wrong with the magic they used to animate me. They never really got past the letter U, you see. They alphabetized me perfectly, but W, X, Y, Z, even V is beyond my knowledge and understanding. Yep, that would explain it. All right, he says, they're, they're going to add that in the next few years. They've assured me it will be an upgrade. The upgrade. They call it a DLC. Oh. <laughs> he looks at you sort of. I leave. <laughs> Yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna comfort him, but that's that's how it happened. I follow the dummy. Okay. Um, Arbonite, uh, is the guardian? Does the guardian usually wear robes? Robes? Um, no. Uh, the guardian just sort of stands there and looks fierce. Hmm. That's always the same expression. What do you think about the latest edition? I ask him. Mm. But what about the volume? Mm. That's all he says. Mm. It's very when, limited vocabulary. When you take that position and extend your hands, does he have his hands on a really big sword? Um, the way that he, oh, that we are asking him, he says, no, no, not a sword, a tree, uh, or a tree trunk. So it's the guardian that's outside the tree? Uh, no, this one is holding a tree trunk. Holding a tree trunk. 
Yes. Silver tree? He's holding uh, it. I don't think it's silver. silver. I think it's brown, actually. Um, well, I realize that this could be, you know, politically incorrect. Could I ask the racial characteristics of the guardian? Uh, he says, how many racial characteristics? Well, he's, no, let's see, he has um, brown bark and he um, stands about, oh, seven and a half feet tall and he holds a tree trunk and, um, well, I don't really know much else about him. He's all very quiet and to himself and secretive. And his name is Woody. But, uh, yeah. this is I. Language? Um, his language is, uh, well, is it possible that it's a language that's in the bottom part of the alphabet that you just don't know about? Wait, do you mean that C is pronounced her? I didn't see it. <laughs> I never thought of this. It's conceivable. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> way, way to break a librarian. Good job. Yeah, let's watch to the next. I, I, do, I, I would like to point out that last time, at least according to last time's own claims, could easily go up there, check, not be noticed, and come back in a very dancy way. <gasps> no the guardian. Where is the guardian? The Lord. The Lord. You simply go to the north. And he points Through the out. walls. Or, you know, that sounds like an excellent <laughs> idea. Let's split the party. <laughs> <laughs> he right here for you. If, if, yes, let's split me from the party. He says, yes, yes, I know the word split. That is the letter S, and I have been programmed for that information. I know that splitting always leads to positive ends. At least according to what is found under D, Dungeon Masters. <laughs> <laughs> excellent. <laughs> I will go forth and find at least where the Guardian stands. Okay, so when you go up here, and this is you last evening. Okay, uh, so same thing as um, what I was talking about with Shala. When you uh, actually get close, the area starts to light up. And assuming that you move farther in, are you moving farther in, last evening? Yes. Okay, so as you're moving farther in, um, the room actually, as you get in, lights up completely. Oh, that's sneaky. Can't really it's sneaky. Yeah, I know. I'll move it around. It is very sniffy, but she's not being sneaky. What you see... Wow, that's swanky. Yeah. What you see is this. Now, that creature... Let me show you the... Uh, let's see. That Lassen will engage Lassen's sneak mode. In broad, bright light. Yeah. The more lights that show up where you go. So there we go. That is what it looks like. Oh, so an oak. <laughs> oak. Yeah, right. um, so this uh, creature stands. In case you want to close up and take a look at that. Um, <coughs> yep, it looks friendly. Uh, yeah, this creature stands oh. in a place that I will find as soon as I find out what I put with the. Section that I'm Time for another at the moment. Um, okay, here we go. So, the table and shelves have more books of the type that you saw before, but standing in the middle, I will move this over a little bit so people can see. Standing in the middle of the circle is. Sorry, I'm trying to shrink this. There we go. Standing in the middle of this circle, uh, there's a huge glowing red circle, around which is a four-foot-tall, several-foot-thick stone wall in a semicircle. And standing in the middle of the circle is a huge, bark-covered figure, almost seven feet tall, holding what looks to be a massive tree trunk, which serves as a club. Its top facing down as the figure holds the other side of it, and the figure's eyes are closed. It's like this. There's a large bark covered individual standing there with his eyes shut, much like the librarian has told us. Like how large? Oh, like twice as tall as us or uh, you about or seven us? and a half feet. You. Seven and a half feet. About a less and a half. A less and a half. Well, well assuming he's as loquacious as the uh, librarian said, I imagine that will be a very pointless conversation. Um, well, I could try to run that stuff over. I could try Elfin and speaking to him as though I am a worshipper of Elobrin Lethonia. Yeah, we'll go for that. Or we could just leave here and beat the shit out of it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> if, but I've been working on my acting. I'm sure that nothing could go wrong. <laughs> or we could 
would just run in and beat the shit out of it. Those in favor of letting Austin go in and try the act and us standing right outside to beat the shit out of it when it fails? Sure, send in the gesture. Yep, yeah, All right, fine. Okay. Excellent. So, Lassen, when you, um, it's like the go up to it, it. When you go up to it, in here, when you enter the red circle, the creature's eyes, first of all, the red circle brightens, and then the creature's eyes snap open, and it says in a deep voice, why have you come? Ooh, more than hunger. Mm. Oh, it talks. It's all you, Lassen. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> I have come to complete the trial of the dead. He says, then step forward, those four who would take the trial. All others must stand outside the semicircle of stone. If any fall, one will be allowed to take their place. All right. Uh, hey, guys. Three of you come over here. Okay, so the whole concept was that you were going to go up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to go up. I changed my mind. It's funny that you thought that was going to work. Yeah. <laughs> Act okay. away. Yes, come come join me, guys. Wait, so wait, have yeah, we ever You got yourself into this. Okay. You heard that booming voice, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to need three of you. Goes forward. Plants your feet. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hi. So, Corinna is going to enter. Um, I think the dwarf's got to enter, too. Uh, in which case, oh, oh, so, <laughs> so, Corinna, do you even leave? No, no, no. Okay, and what, and who else? I will go forward. Okay. Oh, oh, no, and we grow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a party now. <laughs> All right. We need one more. I'll hang back and... Nope, there's no, four. There's, there's four. four. There's four. I'll four. hang back and defend the match. Okay. When um, the fourth, when the fourth steps forward, and the creature is just waiting.